on my way to Vegas right now and I'm gonna get a little bit of lunch. It's either In-N-Out or Chipotle. Let me lose some followers right now. I don't get the hype over In-N-Out. It's just not that good. In-N-Out, In-N-Out, nope. I'd rather have Chipotle than an Arby's or an In-N-Out any day. Actually, In-N-Out, I don't get it at all. Hi there, can I get a bowl please with brown rice but a little bit lighter on the rice please? Yes, black beans. And, and then a bunch of lettuce please. Sorry, thank you. All right, so I got my lunch. Myth number one, they're gonna leave you if you raise your fees. No, they're not. They're not gonna leave you because they like you. They like who you are as a person, as an artist and the service that you create, right? They're not gonna leave you. They're not gonna leave you because every business raises their fees, especially right now with inflation, but always. They're just not gonna leave you. They're not gonna leave you to go for somebody cheaper. And if they do, God bless them, because that's not your client, because they're always looking for that coupon offer. They're always looking for something that's not you. That's somebody else, and I want all photographers to do well, but really, the ones I'm looking out for is you, somebody who watches this channel to learn. So they're not going to leave you. And here's another way to explain it. Look at this triangle right here. This triangle shows most people. Now, if you look at this whole big mass of people here, how many people are there? Imagine if each one of them was a photographer, and that's your competition. So why do you wanna be at the bottom of this competition? Why do you wanna be at the most competitive part, the most populated part? And all these people, do you know what they're doing? They are running the price lower and lower and lower. See, they're competing against each other. They're oversaturated. When people say, oh, photography is oversaturated, what they're really talking about is that bottom part of the triangle right there. It's wide and it's vast and there's a lot of people and they're competing against each other and they're really just knocking each other's prices down. That's not you. That's not where I'm putting any of my students. I want you to be up here or at the top of the triangle, ideally. Now here is the perk of that. When you're at the top of the triangle, there are several benefits. One being, it's less populated. Right off the bat, you don't have as much competition up here as you do down here. It's not a no-brainer. There is no competition up there. So you can actually charge more and there's less competition up there. And then let me knock you off your feet right now too. Not only can you charge more, that's the second big part. There's no competition. That was the first one. The third one is that on top of that, though those people are supportive of you. These people up here that pay those fees and those prices, they like a quality service. They like paying a certain amount. Hang out out here with me. Hang out out here with my friends. Down here is where you might have to enter and then get the hell out of there as soon as possible. Now, I wish all photographers can raise their rates, but look, not all photographers are following this channel. Not all photographers are following my masterclass or in any of my pricing courses, right? So that's myth number one, that if you raise your fees, they're going to run away. And that's okay, because if you're climbing up this triangle and they run away, what they have told you is, hey, we belong at the bottom of the triangle. Photographer wants to be like a vending machine, let them. I wish that they wouldn't, but let them. I wanna help you do better, okay? So that's myth number one, let's knock that off. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch real fast, then keep driving to Vegas. By the way, I'm here for Grammy week, and I'm creative directing, and I just wanna say, that you can do that with photography. You can take that leap and, and become a creative director and launch brands. So when people tell you photography is oversaturated and people tell you, oh, it's not possible, people aren't paying, don't listen to them. F them. Beep that. Your competition is not. Like, it, they, they are not your competition. The new thing is, I hope this is the new thing for a lot of people, is that they are your peers. So that means these are the people you're gonna borrow from, these are people you're gonna loan to, these are the people that are gonna give you jobs if, they are, if their calendar is booked, and then you're gonna fill up their calendar too. It's really not that difficult. But where it really affects the pricing, and I said that this is a pricing myth, is this. Instead of calling your competition and saying, hey, how much are you and pretending to be a customer? That's a really bad thing to do karmically too. But call your competition and become a peer and say, hey, I'm new to this market. I'm a new photographer. Hey, I have a struggling business. I was wondering if you would be open if I could take you to lunch or coffee. And I wanna talk to you and I wanna see how I could do better in this market. And I wanna make sure that I don't ruin the market and undercut everybody because that damages everybody. So I was wondering, as somebody who's doing 
better than me? Would you be able to guide me and uh, show me the ropes? A little? Yeah, that's what we do. That goes from moving competition into... Okay, I am here. All right, let's go three zero. All right, I just walked into my room, so I found my hotel room. Let's talk about perceived value. People will tell you right off the bat, hey, start discounting your services. Let me tell you why that's so damaging. You can pretty much guess, but your perceived value is how people want to pay for you, and also your perceived value is how people talk about you and how people refer you and all of that. So if you're going to tell everybody right off the bat that you're willing to offer them a discount code, a promo code, then your perceived value is that you are a promo code, you are a coupon. And then they're going to talk about you and they're going to treat you like the way that they treat coupons okay they throw that around and they tell everybody hurry up before it expires hurry up before the deal is over you're going to all the conversation around you is going to be about a deal a discount a, a bulk rate anything that's negative anything that overworks you and gives you a tiny tiny bit of money Instead, if you keep your prices up and let people earn those discounts because they have booked with you several times and they don't really earn a lower price as much as they get more access to you, more prints, more time for shooting. That's the best way to do this because that way your perceived value is high. People are like, yeah, he or she is not going to drop their rate, but you get a great product. And you know what? He threw me an extra hour shooting. She threw me a few extra prints. All right, that's perfect. Your perceived value is high. When your perceived value is high, people are gonna enjoy your photography more. People are going to pay for it gladly. People are going to rave about you more. It's this human psychology aspect of it. We don't appreciate things that were cheap, that were easy to get. Make sure that you are the item that is not a vending machine. You are the item that is something they save up for, something they show off about. And that's a mistake that people will tell photographers, oh, just make sure that you give discounts right off the bat. No, you could do that if you have an ice cream store or a coffee shop. You're an artist and we're not doing discounts right off the bat, okay? They want to earn it, they should earn it, and then you can give them some perks because you love your clients and those are your VIPs. All right, I'm going to go and check in and see the other guys there. Um, I'm here with work people and we're going to go to point number four next. I think I'm going to do point number four right there. Have a little seat. Okay. Point number four, it's about ruining their fantasies. And I'll say this in a, in a way that sounds rude, but I gotta make a point. Who the hell are you to ruin someone's fantasy? Because a lot of times, photography is a luxury item and you wanna give them an experience. Now, ad agencies or market companies, they have a department called experiential, and that's where people have experience with a product. You're a product or you offer a product, that's your time plus your talent, and people wanna pay a lot of money for that. People wanna shoot with you. People want to pay you a lot of money. Believe it or not, they feel better when they give you your full rate. Now, you could convince somebody to take a promo code and a discount and all that, but they're not going to enjoy it as much. They're not going to rave about it as much. They're not gonna show off about it as much because it was a discount item. And people actually, believe it or not, they enjoy photo shoots. They enjoy paying for it. They enjoy raving about it. They enjoy telling everybody, hey, I just shot with so-and-so. He or she is amazing. Give them that. Don't ruin their fantasy. Now let's go for the bonus. Well, the one I promised you, the bonus one. This one is about stop telling stories. Stop telling stories that sabotage yourself. Stop telling stories that fool you into thinking you're not good enough. Stop telling stories that they're not going to like you and they're going to go away from what you offer chances are you're incredibly wrong about everything and most of the time you're wrong when you are operating out of fear so take a chance that's the thing about photography pricing is take a chance and ask for the higher amount take a chance and assume your client budget is not here that it's there take a chance that your client is gonna really really want this product that you're gonna suggest the add-on take a chance that they're gonna want to shoot with you again and you're gonna contact them when you do that, this is how you start making 20, 30, 40, 50% more than your competition, your peers. And you start growing your business and you start expanding and you start taking a chance on yourself, but you're not telling stories. And the stories are what sabotage you and put you down a path that is not productive. And stories are operating out of fear. 
So I hope that helps you. Alrighty, so right here is where you're gonna watch the next video if you're beginning photography business and you need help with pricing. This here is where you're a little more advanced and you wanna double your profits. Beginning and advanced. My free photographer survival package is in the description. Click the link, I got you. I'll see you on the next video.